Hello everyone. Welcome to the Book Venturers. In the end of chapter 6, we saw Lady Blakeney leaving the room to meet her brother Arman. If you had not listened to chapter 6, check it out in the link given in the description below. Chapter 7 The Secret Orchard Once Margaret came out of the coffee room, she breathed more freely and few tears rolled down her cheeks. The rain had stopped and the sun shone on the beautiful white coast. Margaret was looking at the sea from the porch. There was Sir Percy's yacht, which was ready to take Armand back to France. In the distance, she saw two men approaching the fisherman's rest. One was a fat old man, Mr. Briggs, the captain of the yacht, and the other was some young man, Armand, Margaret's brother. Margaret ran to her brother and hugged her. She asked Mr. Briggs how much time do they have before Armand gets on board. He informed that they had half an hour left. She felt sad that within half an hour, her dear brother would be sailing to France. Margaret was afraid of her brother's life in Paris as the revolution in France became worse and worse. She sobbed and asked Armand not to go to France. But he said it was his duty to serve France and also said that she has Sir Percy now to take care of her. Sadness crossed across Margaret's face. She said that Sir Percy cared for her once. Armand asked whether he knew about her part in the arrest of Marquis de Saint-Cyr and his family. She laughed a bitter laugh and said, Sir Percy heard this from other sources. My confession came too late and I was not able to explain the circumstances. Now he hates me. Armand asked, But Sir Percy loved you? Margaret replied, Loved me? He did once. Even you thought that I married Sir Percy for his wealth. But it was not so. I blindly loved him. Armand knew that Sir Percy would not listen to the circumstances but only the facts. He would have hated Margaret because her careless words had sent her fellow man and his family to the guillotine. This would have killed the love in Sir Percy. Armand and Margaret had always been together. Their parents died when Margaret was a child and Armand was a youth. Armand was eight years older than Margaret. He took care of her until her marriage. This was his first visit to England after her marriage. Despite of Margaret's wealth and luxury, she felt lonely and unhappy. She feared for Armand's safety. She led him along the cliffs and went down to the beach together. In this chapter, you came to know the reason for Margaret's sadness and why Sir Percy didn't love Margaret anymore. In the next chapter, we will see how Margaret's words sent Marquis de Saint-Cyr and his family to the guillotine. Was it her fault? Let us see in the next chapter. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.